One, two, three, four. They call it way of saying to change. Well, we're in uh, Lisbon and we're just coming out of the Lisbon Cathedral and got our first stamp, walked around inside a little bit, and we met some fellas that have uh, tuk-tuks that will drive you around town and give you a really nice tour of town. We met a fellow named Angelo who's going to take care of us if we stay tomorrow. Well, it was a 24-hour trip to get from Seattle to San Francisco to Lisbon. And we went to our hotel, checked in, took a little snooze, and then we have come down to the Say Cathedral to get our first stamp. It's 6 o'clock right now. We, we went and walked around a little bit. And uh, the town is starting to wake up. <clears throat> they not much going on in Lisbon or Portugal in the afternoon, but about now, people start coming out and populating these sidewalk cafes. We had a great uh, hors d'oeuvres and a couple of glasses of sangria. And now, now we're going to uh, get some bus change by getting another beer. Yeah, I'm just, this is uh, the start of our, our 2021 Camino, and we will be walking down to uh, the beach, which well, it's not a beach, but it's on the other side of that building, and, and turn left, and that's where we will be going. And we don't know where we're going to stop, but so we got down to the water, and uh, now we're on the track. Now we start looking for arrows that will show us how to get the next 300 miles. And here they are, right here. The blue one is for Fatima. The yellow one is for Santiago. pilgrims. <laughs> Today is July 11th, our first day on the Camino Lisbon to Santiago. And we uh, had a long day yesterday. It was about a 31 hour um, travel day. And uh, we got to Lisbon, got to our hotel, took a little nap, and then went down to the cathedral to get our first stamp on our credential and after that we stopped in a little bar and had some tapas and then we kind of walked back stopped at another bar and had a glass of wine I got to the hotel and uh, went in the bar in the hotel and had another glass of wine and we figured we were done there because we were both falling asleep at the table <laughs> so we had a fitful night went to sleep right away but kept waking up all night long and then uh, then we overslept we woke up at 8 o'clock this morning so we didn't get out of the hotel after we had breakfast kind of got packed up we didn't get out till 10 o'clock uh, but left the hotel went down toward the water turned left and we've been heading up the coast 
Um, a lot of people have said that this isn't a very good walk, but it's been actually a nice walk out of Lisbon because, uh, well, it's not too bad. Cool breeze. Yeah. Marine layer. Let me turn the camera around. It's a nice trail. It's not so bad. We're, this is Sunday, so there's not a lot open and there's a lot of people out exercising, but we've seen, uh, well, it's nice scenery. Around here, we're following this little river up. It's low tide now, so water's out. There's a freeway up there that we can hear, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice walking. We're going to walk north today. We're not quite sure where we're going to stop. We'll figure that out later. End of our first day walking on our way to the hotel. And we have walked on a lot of travertine sidewalks. Change. I think I finally found me the way of saying change. I've got the scallop shells, I'm almost at the end. 